this is what was known as the vine house. The vine is still here. Here's the vine. It's on the outside of what was the greenhouse. The greenhouse would go up like that and then back up to the wall over there. So that you can see the trace of that along there. That's where the old vine house, that used to be the vine house, and growing up there were tomatoes and things like that. Then through this door, this was the peach house. And along that wall were peach trees. I've planted a lovely wisteria here. And the grapes still produce grapes. So this had tomatoes and then winter flowering flowers for the market for my grandparents. And this was the end of it. So it went from this wall here all the way along down there. So, but this is all planted up and um, it's, yeah, full of weeds, but that will, um, with time, I'm hoping to restore these to be greenhouses again, but everything is little by little. And at the moment with COVID lockdown, there's not much likelihood of um, anything happening here. As the lads construct the wooden framework for the greenhouse, when they leave, I paint. Paint it black so the timbers don't show up. So it's gonna be a very beautiful greenhouse. Can't afford to put glass in it, so we're just gonna do plastic sheeting that you do on polytunnels. So it's getting very exciting. It's really almost there. Now the decision, I'm being told by lots of people that I should use Perspex rather than the um, plastic for polytunnels. But um, I don't know how expensive it's gonna be, so I have to make a decision. You can see there's three windows in the front. There's one window that's gonna go there, another there and another there and then there's going to be two up in the roof one there and one there and that's for ventilation and the like and um one day i'll make a beautiful door with some stained glass in it for here at the moment uh, i'll just have to have a moderate door because this is I don't know how, why my grandfather had it like this. It might have been a Victorian door that he adjusted for here, because this is block cement. So this is the vine house construction. And every time the lads finished painting, it's finished building and they'd leave, I quickly got out my paint buckets and painted. So here is inside the vine house greenhouse but we'll just call it the vine house. You can see the vine is still behind there. This is where the vine is rooted outside the greenhouse and it'll come in, you can see there. Now I've pruned back, I'll be pruning back that bit of the vine as well so that it will all come in here so that the grapes can uh, be eaten because at the moment grapes can't be eaten because they don't have time to ripen. Anyway, this is the construct of the vine house. So we're getting there slowly but surely. There will also be, um, I will have um, gutters here and I'll have a water collector over there so that I can collect water from the roof when it falls. But it's very, very exciting. And thanks to everybody viewing YouTube, this is what YouTube has earned me over the last year from everybody's views and the advertising. So I'm very excited by what, um, I'll be able to grow tomatoes this year. Tomatoes 
and cucumbers and maybe even some sweet corn in here. And one day, one day, I'll do the next house, which is this one. This was known as the peach house. Here, you can see the wall along here. And this was all glass in the front here, and it went up and then back to the roof. And there were peach trees espaliered along that wall. And my grandfather used to count the peaches because they were such posh money, so much money, that we weren't allowed to eat them. Anyway, this is where the peach house went to here. You can see this was the end wall right there. And then the door into the peach house was right here. So you'd step down into the peach house. So one day, I'll have to dig out these bamboos. I put these in here about 20 years ago. They're a lovely black bamboo. So I'll put them somewhere else. And those irises I'll have to put somewhere else. And the artichokes I'll have to put somewhere else. And probably that um, wisteria. I'll have to dig that wisteria out and put it somewhere else before I build the peach house. But this all takes time and money. And at least I will have one place where I can grow tomatoes and cucumbers within um, with sometime this year, which is very, very exciting is all I can say. Thank you to all of you YouTube viewers. This I was able to do.